to a brand new FIFA 17 video today. Today is the 21st of December, meaning there's three brand new squad building challenges for us to do, and uh, hopefully you already know which players they are. If not, then we have today, we have Dybala, Toprak, and Kevin Gamero. I'm so happy to have a Kevin Gamero. Um, I loved his inform, his 85 rated inform, and this card hopefully is better in, it's going to be basically exactly the same, but usually they're better in like dribbling, physical and passing, that kind of thing, so really, really excited to get that card. Um, today we are going to be attempting to do every single one of these. Now, I usually have a lot of stipulation with, with uh, high rated players that have high rated squads, and I usually pass on those because, for example, Modric, I didn't want to do that one because he'd probably be in Team of the Year. Seems point of spending like 300k on, on that Modric when you can, you're going to get like a 94, 95 rated, rated card in January. So, I, I really like Dybala. Uh, I haven't really had much chance to use him because he's been too expensive. Um, but I thought, you know, I'd spend, I'd spend the money... And I'd buy the players and we'll complete this squad. So, there we go. It is what it is. I kind of feel bad, but also feel good at the same time. So, the squad for Dybala, you need an 88 rated team. Two team of the weeks, 100 chemistry. Not very difficult at all. The idea behind it really is loyalty. Um, if you can get loyalty on the players, you know, by playing 10 games or just having them in your club um via packing them then you know you're, you're pretty much good to go the players i've used as you can see on screen is uh, we've got all black in goal godin pepe the petmeister we've got uh, hummels lam tony cruz inform orellana inform kevin gamero which i've played 40 games i've got 15 goals 15 assists he's been a part of uh 30 goal scoring chances in 40 games which is incredible i play him at cam so I play like, who is it? I play Fekir and Lacazette up top. So he's just he's just so incredible. Uh, he's going to be no use to me now. I've got his blue card or going to have his blue card. So I'll, I'll give him up. Uh, we've also got Busquets, Nani and uh, Modric at striker. Um, you know, it's quite an interesting team because we've got loads of high rated players. We've got uh, the Petmeister. We've got uh, Godin, 88 rated. Got Tony Cruz, you know, 88 rated again. Lam, 88, uh, 87, 87. We've also got another 87, Oblak, 89, Modric. And then 83, uh, uh, Nani, which I don't really understand how, how that works. But either way, you know, I'll, I'll take it. This squad, um, there's a few things I want to talk about. So I want to try and remember as best as possible. So this squad uh, cost me about 250 thousand coins and before we do anything i'm gonna have a quick look at i can probably do it you know through concepts but we'll go to the transfer market and we'll have a look at uh dybala's inform um so dybala there we go so we'll have a look how much he costs is what i'm looking for so 500 so 504 so he goes for about five hundred thousand coins and I've done this for half that, which I'm really happy with, to be honest. I Okay, so what I was going to talk about, the, the other thing was that there's not... A lot of people say there's not much point because he's exactly the same to his inform. So you might as well just buy his inform. But I can do this for half the price. So, you know, what's the point of me spending 500k if I could do this for 250? Does that make sense? So... Yeah, that, uh, that's kind of my logic. Either way, it's a bit hypocritical of me to say that. However, I'll do it for players, you know, I'll spend the money on players I think are worthwhile. And for me, I think Dybala is probably worthwhile getting if you don't have his card. If you have his normal card, there's, you know, there's not much point because it's only one rating higher. Um, if we have a quick look, I'll have a quick look on Foothead. So, yeah, his normal card is, is very, very similar. It's got uh, one less pace. He's got two less shooting Four less passing, four less physical, uh, two less defending, and one less dribbling. So if you do have his normal card, I really recommend don't, you know, bother doing the uh, squad building challenges for Dybala anyway. You can do the rest if, if you want to, but uh, 
Dybala is not worth it, but um, his inform is same on pace, same on shooting. The uh, blue version's got two more passing, he's got one less dribbling, he's got same defending and two more physical. So really, it's only passing and physical that's the, uh, that's the same. But, you know, for all the other stats that have been, you know, downgraded or kept the same, he's worth 250,000 coins less than the inform. So, you know, I'll uh, I'll happily, happily take that. So, we'll complete the squad. The, um, actually, first of all, before I do this, because this is the most expensive squad for me to do. And uh, you may not see this on the day they're released. But in future, for like 88 rated squads, you know, this could be a formula if you want to kind of, you know look back on this possibly and what kind of players you might need um, because you know I'll use this as reference as well for you know 88 rated squads if I do do any more in the future um, it's very helpful to be honest there is reddit posts and what have you you can do um, and look at to see the uh, the squad criteria but um, yeah so so what I was going to talk so what I was going to talk about was how much the players actually cost me so all black cost me 24,000 coins uh, Lam 38, 20, uh, 27 for Hummels. We've also got Godin, uh, 35, Pepe for 31. Tony Cruz, 32, 33,000 coins. 30,000 coins for Busquets, which is incredible. Um, that low pace kind of stat on Busquets really helps him uh, drop in price. Um, we've also got 38,000 for Orellana. Got Nani, 3.5. 49 that was back in the day he's going for about 49.50 so he's about the same uh, and then of course first owner modric there we go we'll just we'll just complete it get rid of it so in total yeah it cost me 259,000 coins which is incredible there we go paulo dybala 89 pace 91 dribbling 88 shooting 80 passing with 70 physical looks incredible of course, I do now have a Serie A team, so he'll go straight into that with all the uh, other blue cards, Hamsik, De Rossi, the rest, which are uh, Parolo, which is incredible. Um, so top rack is next. We have an 84 rated team. Team of the week, Movember players, minimum of one, 70 chemistry, very, very simple stuff. I've just realised, why, why am I doing two team of the week players? When he's okay, let's just quickly. There was a bit of uh, there was a bit of a brain malfunction, I think, probably there. So we'll get rid of him and uh, we'll put in because we need an 84 rating. So can we just have pretty much anybody 81 rated? No, of course not. 82, no. 83. Okay, so we'll put in Aurier and um, can we put Did that work? No. All right, never mind. We'll we'll keep that player in there and. Um, that is, that is now the squad that I've built. We got there eventually. So, top rack, he has an 84 rated normal card. He's got an 86. We'll have a quick look. Um, so, actually, okay, first of all, right. 84 rated Movember card, team of the week, minimum of 170 chemistry. That is the squad I've built. Got an 81 rated um, simple inform. Cost me just under 20,000 coins. The rest of the squad is just you know, standard players. Um, I think for this, if we have a quick look, the criteria for an 84 rated team is, um, as far as I can see it, the cheapest way of doing it is two 84s, eight 83s, and one 80 rated player. So we've got 83, 83, 83, 84, 83, 83, 81, 83. So it's basically just 84s. Why have I used so many 84s then? Don't know, probably to get chemistry. Uh, either way, that is the squad that we built. It's You can do it for a lot cheaper probably if you can you know, get the players. Uh, I don't have a lot of the players in my club, so I use what I do have at my disposal. And uh, this was it. So we'll complete that, get ourselves a pretty useless top rack if I'm you know, perfectly honest. I don't really have a Bundesliga team, but... Um, you know, his card looks really nice, to be fair, actually. He's got a really nice upgrade, I think, from... He does. Wow. Okay, so he's a 84 rated standard. He's got 76 pace to 78. 
he's gone up to 42 shooting, uh, 62 passing up to 67, 75 physical up to 80, which is massive, 86 defending to 89, and 67 dribbling to 72. Very, very decent upgrade. That's only a two rating upgrade. And uh, some of his stats have gone up by five. If not, yeah, I think five is probably the highest. Which is amazing. That's really, really incredible. He's got a five-star week. Wow, I never knew that. Okay. I never knew he had a five-star week. Okay, all right. Six foot two, medium, medium. Five-star week foot, two-star skills. Decent, decent little card. Now, the next one, of course, is Kevin Gamero. This one I'm going to have to do live because it's the same squad pretty much. Team of the week, players one. We've got 84 rating uh, team, 80 chemistry. Um, the problem with doing it like pre-built is I don't know what players I can use from the last squad. So if I use Thiago in this one, it wouldn't be there anymore. So it would just be really confusing. But um, either way, we'll start things off with the special card, the inform. So... We only, we only need one of them. I don't really have too many in the club as as I do. Fernandez, Falcao. Um, we'll use Fernandez because I think I got one on the trade pile. So I'll, I'll put him into the squad. We do need full chemistry, which I think is pretty easy. If I go BPO, I know there's a Portuguese um, centre-back. There we go. Fonte, 83 rated as well. It helps, helps massively. Um... We'll just stick, I think I'll try and stick to BPO if I can do. And we'll we'll put in some players that I don't use. Um, we'll try Williams. I don't know what kind of rating, so what do we need? 8 83s, 2 84s, uh, and 1 80. So, okay. So, 8 83 rated players. We've got 1, 2, oh, we'll see if we've got... An 83, we don't go an 82. Um, so left back, we've got an 84. So put Aspilicueta in. It's one of the 84 rated players. Um, we got 82. What do we need? It's either really 84, 83 or 80 rated. So I don't want to put an 81. Do we have an 83? We don't. Left wing possibly. So left wing... Got uh, 83, that's perfect. Okay, we'll put in Nalito. I've got tons of him on my uh, trade pile, so happy, happy days. Got no, no right, really? I've got no right mids, okay. I've got no right wings either, okay. Um, could be could be a little bit of an issue. So, striker, we have Alexis like, Giroud. Slimani is perfect. So that's, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We need one more 83 rated players um what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to put Xhaka on the right mid as an 84 so that's our two 84s complete we just need an 83 and an 80 rated player so um i've got an 82 got an 83 there we go thank the lord for bastion swinesteiger saving the day is that going to work wait so we've got two 84s as Plaquetta, um got Xhaka, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, wait, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, so we need one more 83 rated player, I think I know the perfect player to get, so if we get uh, Beg Begovic, of course I don't have him in my club, there we go, so we just need an 80 rated uh, right back, preferably, if there is one, and there is, which is amazing, and that should, there we go, complete the squad just as simple as that so hopefully he's not too expensive 1.1k got 1.1 really okay fine 1 1.1k I, uh, I don't actually have too many coins as is I pretty much spent everything on uh, on Dybala so I'm hoping he's 2k or less it's not well okay so if we, if we find a goalkeeper okay right I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be but um, hopefully this should work. So, got Ligon, got an 83 rated goalkeeper by the name of Subasic. He'll be perfect. Hopefully, yeah, he does. Wow, there we go. 
He no, he doesn't. Wow. Okay. Mm, actually, wait. Okay. Does that three nine? Okay, we'll just convert Fernandez down to a C CM if I can. One point one. That'll do. All right. And this should hopefully that should give us the one chemistry we do need to complete the squad. There we go. It, that I could have. Oh, I could have just converted freaking Nolito. Oh my god. No doubt you probably saw that before me, didn't you? In the uh, in the video. That's so annoying. That's so that's so annoying. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm still gonna do it. Wow. God's sake. Don't know if that would have changed it. It probably would have done. To be honest, that probably would have fixed it. I feel really stupid now. I feel really stupid. Anyway, so there we go. Gamero has been complete. We'll uh, show you the team one last time. It's very simple. Very, very simple. If you follow the um, the criteria of what I used, then you always 284s, 883 rated players, and 180. You can do it totally different if you want to. Um, there's many different ways of doing it, like 285s, 184, 483s, 282s, 281s. I, you know, you can even go to 187 if you really want to. But um, for me, I feel this is probably the cheapest, most cost-effective way of doing it. And, um, you know, we'll have a quick look. So 27,000 coins. The rest of the squad will probably be more or less discard. I can imagine Jack will be bought in for 2.8. He goes for, should we say, 3,000 coins at most. Um, so 3,000 coins, 30... Aspilicueta is probably quite expensive as well. 5.8. He is now going for just over 6. Wow. Crazy profit. Okay, so about 6.5. That's about 40. So it's probably about the same price for his inform. Which is pretty pretty pointless. But anyway, there we go. So there is Kevin Gamero complete as well. Can't believe today we've completed Dybala, Toprak and Kevin Gamero. All in the same sitting that's incredible um his card is actually re i don't remember it being quite that good so his um his in form is obviously the same rating but he's got the same pace he's got one less shooting on his blue card one more passing which is you know not game breaking but he's got one less physical he's got the same defending and the same dribbling. So, so as far as I can see, he's only got. So he's been downgraded by shooting and physical, and literally the only upgrade is is passing by plus one. It's just I don't I don't know I really I don't understand these upgrades, or technically downgrades really, but. It's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. I mean, that co that squad didn't cost me anything at all. It was players in my club that I had more or less anyway, um, and it's just really, it's really. I don't understand why they don't just, you know, make it one higher rating than the. I suppose because then that will make the inform they previously had totally redundant. So, yeah, actually it won't because you know they'll still be used for squad building challenges. So. What can you do? Anyway, there we go. Kevin Gamero has been complete. Three star, three star, medium, medium, five for eight. He'll be going straight into my club and my squads. Very, very decent stuff. That is where I'm going to end today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.